Howdy everybody, this is Steve, KM9G, and I have to admit, it took way longer to get through this the other night on ham nuggets than it should have. But today we're going to show you how to get this on the D-Star without this. Stick around. Okay, we are on the bench. Let's get this all squared away. So I am in regular FM mode. It doesn't matter if you're in sideband mode or if you are on... Uh, 80 meters or whatnot, it, that, that part's not important. You just have to be at your radio and it has to be on. There are a list of settings in the description of the video down below here. Don't worry if I go through typing a little bit faster than you might. We're gonna hit menu to bring up the menu and the DV gateway stuff is on page two of the menu. So I hit two at the bottom to go to page two and then I hit DVGW to go to digital voice gateway. I guess that's what that means. In here, you're gonna have a whole bunch of things. What we wanna pay attention to right up front is this internal gateway settings because we're going to use the 705 as its own hotspot. Internal gateway settings, we have to start out with a gateway repeater. So we tap on that. Pick one from the list down below or uh, find one on the internet that you want to use that isn't in my list down below and let me know. That way I know what to use it. But the one I'm going to use is from David Capello. And I want to take a real quick moment to say thank you to David for getting all this set up because this is working out great. Press enter there. Next on the list is your terminal AP call sign. D-Star is interesting. I don't know why they do this. Uh, there's probably a very good reason for it, but this call sign needs to be eight characters long. And so I put in KM9G, which is my call sign, which is four, and then I need three spaces, two, three, and then I need the letter Z for my, my terminal mode. And uh, this is all set up when you register at uh, D-Star for your D-Star ID. And I will put some links in the description on how to do that as well. So press enter there. Gateway type is global, unless you're in Japan. I'm not in Japan, so that's pretty easy to understand. UDP hole punch. I have mine set to on. For me, it works both on and off. So if it doesn't work for you with off, set it to on. If it does work for you in off, leave it at off. It doesn't really matter. These are allowed call signs in your list that would then be allowed to work on your access point mode. We're not setting up access point mode in this video, so we're just going to ignore both of those two. For now, just leave it set to disabled. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back out here. In menu, we need to go into settings and we need to go into my station and my call sign. You need to make sure that you have a call sign in here. So long press on that and tap edit and then put in your call sign, not mine. This is mine, not yours. And then at the end, you can put whatever you want over here. This is your station identifier. This identifies what radio you're from, what terminal you're accessing from. You can put anything in there that you want. So I put in TO, cause that's what people like to call me and press enter, and then back. Now I've got a call sign in there. Let's go in and see if we can get onto terminal mode yet. We're now on terminal mode. Okay, and then David Capello is XLX687. I've got this 175 in here. You're gonna tap where it, not where it says two with the blue people. You're gonna tap the spot next to it, put in direct input, clear out whatever you have in there, 687 and then which terminal you want to connect to that he's got. Uh, I'm going to connect to XL687A. These letters mean something. For your station, you can pick anything except for like I and G, I believe. Um, but A is supposed to be like 1.2 gigahertz and B is supposed to be two meters and C is supposed to be 440 or something along those lines. Technically, it doesn't really matter because we're connecting over the internet. We're not even going to use RF. I'm going to connect to the A channel on his gateway. And then I grab my handy dandy microphone and you're going to see up here it's got the TX icon, it's got the cloud, and it's got Wi-Fi. So my Wi-Fi is connected, I'm configured to use the cloud, and right next to where that cloud is you're going to see some arrows. So you see that orange up arrow and no X. And that means that we have connected. Okay, so there are a lot of features that D-Star has that terminal mode doesn't allow you to do. Terminal mode is really neat if you are out and about and you have a Wi-Fi connection and you're not near your local reflector that you like to be communicating on and still want to be able to talk. But you can't use this like you would use a hotspot. You can't tunnel through this to connect to another uh, reflector out there on the internet. You can only connect to the terminal, to the network server that you've connected to on the other end and talk on that server alone. So. How useful is it? That's up to you. If, you're, if your reflector that you love to hang out on has this feature, then it's very useful. If you don't know what reflector you want to be on, who knows? I just wanted to get this shared with you. I just boiled a two and a half hour live stream down into, what was that, five minutes? There is a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. 
Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.